Hey everyone, it's time for Isaac Saturday Race Tips. Now today on my race tips, I look at three different tracks and I know it's been a while since I've did this. Today we're looking at races at Caulfield and we're also um, going to Morfordville in South Australia. To finish it off, we're up at the Gold Coast where a few Ripper races are taking place. We'll start off at Caulfield. We'll start off with race two, the Emerald Hill Mission Handicap. Now, it is a 2,000 metre, and I've only got the one horse in this. It's number seven, and it's Barry the Baptist, um, who's in Barrier 10, and um, Harry Coffey is on board. So, Harry's on board for Barry, and hopefully it's a dynamic duo finish, and they can get the win. Because, you know, Barry the Baptist, you look at his recent form, he's come second. I know he's had a few placings. Um, he's come oh so close and just not um, the solid win. Um, so hopefully he can get one today. Race six, I've got one horse again, and it's uh, number one, Blaze Jasky. Barrier eight, Damien Thornton on board. Now, Blaze Jasky hasn't raced since the 6th of February, where it came fifth at Caulfield in a 1,400 metre um, you look before that race and he had a couple placings, uh, I'm pretty sure he had a spell and, um, you know, he had a couple wins in there as well. So hopefully he can, uh, get back onto that good form, uh, and get a few wins, uh, and hopefully kick that off today. Race seven is the Rod Fenwick Handicap, another 2,000 metre at Caulfield, um, and I've got number one, Horrifying, it's the favourite, currently back to $2.50, it's a New Zealand horse, and it's in Barrier 5, now Jamie Carr is in the saddle, and um, Horrifying race at Flemington uh, in a 1,700 metre on the 25th of April, where it came second to our Lone Star, now hopefully, um, you know, Horrifying, he's got the legs in her uh, to get, you know, the extra 300 metres and get the win. Personally, I think she does, and I think with Jamie Carr on board, um, it can be a solid finish. And with barrier five, um, you're laughing because that's a pretty good barrier to be in. Race eight is the Salon Gore Turf Club Handicap. I've got two horses in this. My first selection is number two, Mozzie Monster, Barrier 12, Michael D on board. Now, Mozzie Monster, she's just wonderful. I've, I've picked her um, a couple times in my recent weeks on the Saturday race tips, and she's gone okay with that second, uh, third. She, at least she's in the top three. Hopefully, she can get the win today. Um, but I reckon number four, Succeed Indeed, will definitely give Mozzie Monster a run for her money. Barrier one, Lockie King on the saddle. Like, man, to see Lockie on Succeed Indeed, that's brilliant. I, I love Lockie King, how he races. Um, he's got that more aggressive ride to him uh, and determination, which is good. And I think Lockie can get Succeed Indeed over the line for the win. So, um, yeah, I'm, I've got Mozzie Monster, I'd say, as... As my second pick, I'd say it'd be a Quinella with four and two if you want the exacta. Now let's go to Morfordville. We're up in South Australia for the second week. And race seven is the TAB South Australian Derby. I've got number four, Let's Crack a Deal. Barrier 15, Ben Allen in the saddle. But I've also got number six, Deep Strike, who's in Barrier 9, Damien Lane on board. I think Deep Strike will have a strong finish to the race. Race 8 is the Adelaide Guineas. It's a 1,600 metre. And I've got the favourite, number 1, Cherry Tortoni, who's currently backed at $2.10, uh, who's in Barry 6. But um, don't take your eyes off number 9, Way to Go Polar, because it's in Barrier 10. Uh, she's, you know, currently backed at $6.50. So good odds for Way to Go Polar. And I think, uh, you know, she might cause an upset, but it's going to be tough. Now, we move off to Gold Coast. There's a few Ripper Dipper races here. We'll start off with race three, the Gold Coast Cup. It's a 2,400 metre, and I've only got the one horse. It's number two, Lord Belvedere, currently backed at $4.50 in barrier five. Mark Zara is in the saddle, and I think the Maltese Falcon can get Lord Belvedere over the line for a solid win to win the cup, and it's just going to be a wonderful, wonderful race. Race 7 is the Gold Coast Guineas. Now, it's a 1,200 metre. I've got two horses in this. Number 6, Immortal Love. Barrier 1 and Nashville Wheelers in the saddle. Now, Immortal Love's currently backed at $8.50. So, that's pretty good odds. I've also got number 12. I haven't taken my eyes off her uh, for the last few weeks because she's been riding really well. Marbusha. 
Barrier 15, currently back to the solid $5. And um, I think she'll go well. Both these horses will have a nice race. If I need to choose one, I'm actually going to go with Immortal Love to pip Marbusha um, and the rest of the field. I think Immortal Love can get the win. Race 8 to finish off Isaac Saturday race tips. We've got the AD Hollandale Stakes. It's a 1800 metre. And you look at this um, field of horses and you just think, where do I put my money? Um, you've really got to analyse it because there's a few ripple horses. Now, I've narrowed it down to two picks, and it's um, my first pick is number one, 50 Stars. Barrier 12, Willie Pike in the saddle. I think 50 Stars deserves a win. Now, it's been a bit quiet the last couple of weeks, so hopefully he can get a solid win today. I've also got number seven, Zaki. Barrier 14, James McDonald on board. I think James uh, will have a lovely ride on Zaki. Uh, besides those two selections, uh, which are my top two picks, if I needed to choose a winner... Um, it, it's hard to pick, but I'd, I'd maybe go with 50 stars, maybe. Um, but but i definitely put my money on each way for both of them. You know, you look at the horse in this race, Avilius. That's the one that hits me, Melody Bell. There's such a wide variety of good horses, uh, and they're so good, and they're so used to competing up against each other, so they know each other's moves. So it's going to be a, a big race. It's going to be a huge day of racing, um, and it's all coming to you on channel7andracing.com. Um, so make sure you're watching. Uh, if you are taking a punt, good luck, and as always, gamble responsibly.